While Verizon offered cold hard cash for your mobile business, you may have missed the marine bot that cleans water, the frozen oil discovery, and the super touchdown by Elon Musk. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where xenophobic relatives should be forced to watch sensitivity training videos before opening presents. Who's with me? The Antichrist. Okay, you can't. Ow. You cannot push religion. Oh, but I can push office. drugs in here. Is that what no. you're saying? Oh, yeah. Two days before Christmas, Elon Musk's SpaceX successfully landed the Falcon 9, the first reusable rocket to return from a height of 125 miles. Before landing, it launched a couple satellites into orbit. SpaceX wants to revolutionize the rocket industry, which normally loses millions of dollars in jettisoned machinery and sophisticated rocket components after each launch. SpaceX and Blue Origin CEOs have been taking jabs at each other on Twitter, making this space race a lot more fun to watch than the previous one, what with its constant threat of a nuclear winter. Keep it clean, boys. Okay, bear with us. This may look like a fifth grade science experiment, but actually it's so much more. Plain old oil droplets that are frozen apparently form octagons, triangles, and other crazy shapes if frozen slowly in a soapy solution. Then they revert to their original state when warmed. So, that's non-living chemicals taking on artificial shapes. Future applications are potential shape-shifting spy gear or the Transformers world we've only dreamed of. I've taken it this far! I won't stop now! Your resident boat-owning hippie is gonna wanna know about this thing. The sea bin is basically a vacuum for the water. It's on Indiegogo now and is geared towards marinas, ports, and yacht clubs, where employees often try to collect trash and oil in the water by hand. This thing costs nearly $4,000, but would net gross ocean stuff and mermaid gratitude. Please save Mermaid Kingdom from the garbage! Love Seamus! We did it! And finally, tennis stars or just the wannabes need to see this tennis racket, packed to sound like Maria Sharapova when swung. That's how some of us sound climbing stairs or just existing, not pointing fingers. 